The thing with Uber, you get to use your device and you just press a button, someone turns up at your door, mate. Nah, I don't want that newfangled technology. I want to call a taxi. I want the full olfactory experience. But, mate, all of the young people are using Uber these days. Speaking of young people, why don't we get a lift from this old little young bloke here? G'day, mate. How you doing? Wondering if you can give us a little trip down to the bing, 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 go. No problem, old fella. How Here's much is it going to set me back before I get in this thing? We can negotiate some terms. What, what are you offering? Turbo my car. Get a good, a good deal. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, take us. Oh, to, me hemorrhoids. Take us to the factory. And Ouch. Fix. Welcome back to the Custom Cart Factory. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't pay as well as you might think, so we've had to branch out. I figured this might be a good business opportunity. We picked up this long wheel base club car. I think it is. It's got the big 350cc motor in it, so we're gonna get there nice and quick. Doesn't actually go at the moment, there's no carby, there's lots of stuff missing, but we'll get to that in a bit. I have checked compression though, so she's good to go. We're gonna tidy this thing up and use it to run around some elderly race car drivers that uh, in a nearby retirement village. So these guys are pretty competitive even in their old age, so every chance they have to beat their old mate opposition, they'll take. We've got a turbo there, we're gonna whack that on, get a little bit of extra torque. You know, safety turbos, is that what they call them? We've got a set of seats that we're gonna pick up from Super Cheap and some harnesses. It might get a bit rough out there, you know, rubbins racing and all that, so we're gonna have to strap the old fellas in as well and get stuck into it. Let's head off to Super Cheap and pick up some bits. If you haven't figured it out already, this build is for Super Cheap Auto's Best Performing Oils campaign. 2023 brings a whole new crazy creative that sees a bunch of familiar faces racing to bingo. Super Cheap Auto raised the bar every year and Retirement Rampage is shaping up to be huge. A cool thing that you may or may not know about Super Cheap Auto is that you can get your paint mixed in store any colour you want. We need a red, so we're getting a custom colour made up for us. We also need to grab some primer, clear coat and a bunch of sanding materials which you can all grab in store. Everybody needs a fire extinguisher. Don't set fire to stuff, please. Maybe we should have got a box. Word must be getting around. We've got some more bookings, luckily. We specially ordered six SAS seats, so we're gonna be able to fit more bums in seats and make more money. Problem is, bingo's tomorrow, and we gotta get this done. So, seems like, as usual, I've uh, organized our mate Matt here to come in. He's the enabler of our stupid ideas, you might have noticed. Matt's a, a fabricator slash lots of other things, sheet metal worker, all those things. And he's uh, getting underway planning the seat mounts so we can mount these bad boys on there and get some paying customers. I think we need to get rid of this roof. It's in the way and there's not much head space, so it's going. Let's get into it. So the original hinge will be welded to the bottom of this frame and hinged off there so that the whole frame can actually still be moved up and down so all the seat can still tilt. Same with the engine bay, so these two frames will be exactly the same.
You need some TVs in the seat so you can watch your favorite YouTube show. <laughs> what is this? Like and subscribe. Hit, hit my right or something. TVs on your TV so you can watch TV while you're watching TV. Got the SAS seats all mounted up on some custom frames. Big thanks to Matt for the design and the help. Uh, we picked up our first passenger. Oi, mate, put your seatbelt on. Come on. You gotta pay for this as well. I'm gonna take it out of your biscuits. Now we're gonna move on to mounting the turbo. This is some bits of it. I've pulled it all the bits so we can modify it, but that's gonna go in the appropriate spot and we're gonna have all the boost. Is that what you call a safety turbo? It is a safety turbo, just for that extra bit of overtaking power and to get to bingo first. This turbo for ants is off a 1.5 litre diesel. To mount the turbo, we need to have a flange cut out for us. Luckily, Matt is a very skilled tradesman and he has designed the flange and stored it on this tiny storage device. So all we need to do is plug it in and hit load file, cut, and we get our flange drawn via the arc droid. centralize it so I just use some drill bits. Why don't you use this HKS bend you've been hanging on to for 20 years? Fit for purpose. It's not fit for purpose, it's too big. Plus, when, someone, some idiots polished it as well. When are you ever going to use this? Why are you keeping it? Isn't it for an SR20? It's got HKS written on it, leave me alone. <laughs> percent sure I won the battle with that snap ring but we've been here before so who knows. We've got the turbo plumbed up to the exhaust side only. It's only a 350cc engine single cylinder and the Conrod is probably the size of a 10mm spanner so we're not actually going to plumb it up to the engine via the intake. It's also got a ancient old carby with a what's that fuel pump called? It's like a pulse pump. Pulse pump. So plumbing boost into the carby may not work but hopefully we can make it make some turbo noises which is what we're hoping for so now we're gonna is it in reverse i think so we we'll go for a run I'm on the brake, so it does actually. Do 
a skid. Uh, I'm happy with that. That's so good. Confirmed. The turbo makes spoolie noises, which is exactly what we're after. Job done. We now need to paint this thing. There's also a lot of other stuff. We've got some gauges. Boost, taco, oil pressure. Is there an oil pressure port we can use? Yep. Um, we want to put like a bit of a windscreen on there. We've also got to paint it in super cheap auto red. So let's hook in, finish off this bad boy before isn't bingo, it, which is tomorrow. Isn't it time for beers and burnouts? The longest 72 hour deadline. It's, bingo's tomorrow though. I thought it was yesterday. <laughs> bingo's tomorrow. <laughs> Oh no! I just punched a hole in the thing! Note to self, don't use the paint mixer on a plastic drum. <laughs> I, hit, I knew what would happen too, I was like, oh I better not hit the side. <laughs> The body's all painted up and we're almost ready to reassemble the, the golf cart. Uh, but before we do, we thought we'd, um, while everything's off, show you how these things work. They're kind of an interesting um, mechanical device. So some pretty clever stuff in there. Uh, Club car, the brand started in like the late 50s. So they, they've been doing this a while. But, uh, the engine's actually a Kawasaki engine, so Japanese. And this cart is actually from Japan as well, we bought it, it's, a, it's JDM Yo. Because this car's so big, it's got the biggest engine, which is a 350cc uh, single cylinder. It drives through a, like a snowmobile sort of drive, a CVT, I guess you'd call it. So it's got a big belt, and as the, en the engine revs, it pulls in uh, the pulley on the engine and expands the pulley on the diff, and that's your gears. So it's pretty cool. It doesn't have a starter motor. Well, it does, but the starter motor is actually the alternator, or it's called a starter generator. So that belt actually cranks the engine over. And it's got a bunch of little switches all over the place, little micro switches there and down in there. And when you push the pedal, a micro switch clicks and it starts the engine. And then you push the pedal a little bit more and then, it, and then the drive occurs. So it's, it's meant to be seamless, I guess, but it's as good as it gets, I suppose, for an old golf cart. We're just going to um, do a, some basic servicing on it and um, clean up the filters and put some oil in it and whatnot and uh, then put it all back together.
Redline Custom Carts is officially in business. We've scored our first contract with the Redline Retirement Village and we're ready to cart around those passengers. We have added in a couple of extra safety features to the cart. You're not cool if you don't have a front mount intercooler. So we've got this custom unit from Noosa Radiators poking out the front bar, followed up by some SAS gauges so we can keep an eye on oil pressure and the boost pressure being fed by our safety turbo which now features a GoFast Bits Mark II blower valve for extra hudushes. Making sure that we can actually hear ourselves and to keep our customers comfortable, we've added a KX450 muffler, Kawasaki only, to match the Kawasaki single cylinder. This one came from our mate Kit at MX Service. Thanks so much, Kit. And up the back here, we have got a Tool Pro X toolkit, just in case we need to do any running repairs to the vehicle because we are reliable and responsible here at Custom Carts. Uh, topping everything off, we've got some hectic 10 inch chromies with a uh, semi-slick on the rear because we are very race inspired here at Redline Custom Carts. And for the front, we've got more of a turf master just for that all terrain uh, extra grip around the corners. Now, I know what you're thinking, safety, 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 don't worry. We've got our SAS harnesses, that's gonna keep us locked in. And if your friend's a bit hot-headed, we can extinguish those flames with our onboard fire extinguisher. Worried about traveling at night time? That's all right. The underglow will light the path. So when you exit the vehicle, you can walk to your villa in peace. So we're all done here. Redline's given us a call. We've got to hit the road down to the retirement village and cut around, cut around some passengers. So to celebrate the release of our fresh business, Redline Custom Carts, we're gonna do a giveaway here for you guys. So we've got some Tool Pro goodies here. One is a multimeter. Everyone needs a multimeter, whether it's in your car, your, your house, your shed, whatever, always handy. And also got their new OBD2 scanner. We've given one of these away before, but this one actually is a battery tester uh, and charging test everything for your alternator all in one via OBD2 plug. So we're gonna pick a couple of comments in the comment section and we will announce the winner in the next episode. What you gotta do is just comment below. If you had a six seater golf buggy, what would you do to it? How would you make it custom if you had a Redline custom cart business? We're gonna pick a winner in the comment section. So comment below, let us know. Let's load her up on the trailer and head down to the retirement village. If you haven't guessed already, we built this uh, buggy as a prop for the upcoming Super Cheap Auto Best Performing Oils campaign ad. Retirement Rampage is due to hit your screens tomorrow and this year's ad is shaping up to be the biggest ever. It's absolutely wild. There's a heap of special guests as always, uh, some regulars like us, and uh, you'll have to put your thinking caps on to maybe identify some of the special guests because <laughs> it's pretty special this year. The video is going live on Super Jeep Auto's YouTube channel, which you can check out right over here. Click the link, it's a premiere link. Hit, hit the reminder, save it, watch it. It's absolutely awesome. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time on the Skid Factory. Yeehaw.